Howdy, y'all. How you going? Looking at why isn't the Northern Territory a state in Australia? Kind of interesting, right? Basically, everything else seems to be a state. And then you have the ACT. And then, of course, you have the Northern Territory. And uh, yeah, as someone who didn't grow up there and didn't learn extensively about Australia in school uh, on that kind of level, it is interesting to me, you know, why is it the Northern Territory, whereas, you know, all the states bordering it are states. And it's not really something I've really looked into. So we're going to do that today. I think it'd be kind of interesting. You know, why is it called a territory, whereas uh, other places are called a state around it? And, you know, what's some of the differences in uh, life there, how it runs, how much deeper than the uh, name does it go? This is suggested to me on Discord by Firebrand. So thank you very much. Be linked down below uh, so you can check out this uh, whole video. Here we go, guys. In 1995, the Northern Territory government passed a new law that would send shockwaves through Australia's political landscape. They had just legalized euthanasia, or voluntary assisted dying, making the Northern Territory the first state wow. or territory in Australia to do so. It was a big deal at the time, but not everyone was happy. After 18 months of controversy in the Northern Territory, the euthanasia debate arrived in federal parliament. The Commonwealth government, that's the federal government, were not fans of this new euthanasia law, and they wanted to get rid of it. Which, as it turns out, is a surprisingly easy thing for the Commonwealth to do, thanks to a little thing called Section 122 of the Constitution. Oh, OK. Section 122 is a nice short paragraph. Some light reading you could do over breakfast. Mm. Let's focus on that first bit. The parliament may make laws for the government of any territory surrendered by any state to and accepted by the Commonwealth. And you know what the Northern Territory is? It's a territory that was once surrendered by a state. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's part okay, of South Australia, map, right? These are the six states of Australia. Right. If you look at this map from Federation, these were the six states of Australia. Yep, the Northern Territory was once part of South Australia. But yeah. not for long. By 1911, the South Australian government decided it wanted nothing to do with the top end. So a borderline was drawn <laughs> and the Northern Territory was surrendered to the Commonwealth, where the Commonwealth kind of like adopted it and it oh, was directly okay. governed by it. Until the 1st of July, 1978. The Northern Territory Self-Government Act was passed, meaning the Northern Territory could now govern itself. But oh, this didn't okay. turn it into a state. It did give the Northern Territory its own legislative assembly, meaning that in most cases it could now make its own decisions on things, just like a state government would. You are oh, okay. on one of the noblest adventures open to any people. Democratic self-government. But because of Section 122, the Commonwealth could always step in and take the reins if it ever felt like things were getting out of control. Ooh, and okay. that happened in 1995. With the passing so they they almost were a state in most regards in in regards of uh, self control legislature government and uh, essentially they could make their own decisions right but they technically had the Commonwealth uh, kind of hanging around them uh, just in case like they were always there um, they they could intervene at any given time if they wanted so that's gotcha that that's different okay of the rights of the terminally ill act the rights of the terminally ill act is operational in the northern territory from july the first it was a huge deal and quite controversial both locally and nationally it didn't take long for the commonwealth to realize it did not like these new euthanasia laws so it vetoed the new law and remember okay. the commonwealth's totally allowed to just do that because of section 122. The oh, start okay. with the Northern Territory is not a state, it's a territory. And the law of... Well, the law... The law that... It doesn't have the same rights as, say, Western... No, no, it does not, because the law that established... Uh, wow. Um, uh, ...self-government for the Northern Territory expressly reserved to the Commonwealth Parliament the right to overrule a territory law. While it was there, it also wow. made an amendment to the Northern Territory. So, like, you guys can do whatever you want. You're a territory. You guys go uh, do your thing. But if, if we don't like something, we're going to overrule it like this. I can see where that might be uh, controversial, right? Some people uh, might not mind it. Some people would be pissed over it. I, I can see that being Tree tricky. Self -government okay. Act, sure. Removing the NT's power to make laws about euthanasia ever again. Voluntary euthanasia okay. is no longer legal in the Northern Territory. Don't okay. do this. You breach all the rules in the book. You breach all the conventions of the Westminster system. Obviously, some people in the Northern Territory government were a bit miffed, and they wanted to look at ways the NT could get more powers equal to that of the states. And the most obvious way of doing that was to join them and become a state. Right. 
the Northern Territory is to become the seventh state of Australia. In 1998, the Prime Minister John Howard announced a referendum for Territorians to decide whether or not the Northern Territory should become a state. It would also ensure that we have the legislative base to legislate uh, for ourselves in an unrestricted way. But while it was a tight one, it was a no vote of 51.3%. Whoa, to it was. Okay, it'd be interesting to find out why. And what a close race, 51%. It's a, as close as you could get, technically, right, without being a tie. That is super crazy. That's very interesting. Okay, I did not even know this was a Northern thing. Territory legal and constitution of 51.3%. According to an inquiry carried out by the Northern Territory Legal and Constitutional Affairs Committee, people felt like there hadn't been enough consultation, and many didn't feel like they understood enough about the idea of statehood. Okay. But so it might have felt a little rushed at the time. Uh, and look, it is technically a big change still going from a territory to a state. Might scare people, uh, you know, what is this going to entail? What is this about? You know, uh, how is everything going to change? You know, laws, taxes, you know, all these different things. Uh, who knows, right? If it was rushed and maybe people didn't get, uh, feel like they didn't know enough or didn't get the whole picture, I can see why people would be a little apprehensive of uh changing like that. Now for the statehood on the 3rd of October. Aboriginal people also expressed concerns that it might affect their land rights due to a Ooh. lack of trust of the NT government. Yeah. There was an overwhelming okay. vote for yes in the city and the towns. We got there by a clear majority. We missed out in the Aboriginal communities and there's reasons for that. So there we go. That's why the Northern Territory is not a state. Wow. So obviously to this day, by the way, this is beautiful. What is this? This is a really nice area and an interesting building or structure here. It is still um, not a state. So I didn't realize it went through all these um, kind of events from the 70s to the 90s there. And in the late 90s, almost became a state, you could say. Almost. But it's still not a state. Uh, really interesting. Look, these are fun videos. They're educational. Uh, without getting crazy political or, or, or any fights or anything, if you would like to add uh, your two cents into this, um, I do think it's interesting from the outside. Remember, I, I've never lived in Australia, so this is all new to me. Uh, I do think it's interesting how th that's a big chunk of the map, and it's uh, a state, but it's not a state. It's a territory. To think that it's been that long and it's still a territory now is somewhat fascinating. So, uh, yeah, do you think, I, I, I guess I would, g my guess would be it is, the way it is and it's going to stay like that for the foreseeable future uh do you think it is going to become a state anytime soon like i said from what i've gathered i don't think it will um but if that you think it will change for some reasons uh definitely let me know down below as well but back to those euthanasia laws for a minute in December of 2022, the Restoring Territory Rights Bill made its way through federal parliament. Its purpose was to get rid of that amendment from the Northern Territory Self-Government Act so that it could okay. make laws specifically about euthanasia again. But by the way, the ACT is lumped into this too because even though it hasn't had as much to do with the whole debate, it's still a territory as well. But yes, while the and I did mention ACT at the beginning, so... I'm happy I knew that. ...are now legally granted the ability to make euthanasia laws once again. One thing still exists. Section 122 of the Constitution. That's not going anywhere. And for as long as the Northern Territory stays a territory, the Commonwealth Government could always just do this again. Wow. Really interesting. Okay. All right. Well, that was a short and sweet uh, dive into the Northern Territory and how it is established uh, as what it is today, how it got that border, and of course, uh, why it is not a state. It, it is very interesting and uh, different for someone like me, who, uh, of course, um, is only familiar with the U.S. as in just living here. And, uh, of course, every state around me is, you know, I live in a state and there's also states around me. So uh, America also has territories, which I am not, don't even know if it operates the same way as this or not. Uh, that's not really the issue, but... More so, I know we do have territories, but they're not really lumped in close to our states in most instances. So uh, our territories are quite far away. So yeah, it's an interesting dynamic in Australia. Very cool to learn about that just a little bit. I mean, that was super short and concise, of course. I'm sure there's a lot more history and a lot more to it uh, in the differences between territories and states and stuff. But yeah, this was a good introduction 
great suggestion. As always, please keep your awesome comments and suggestions coming. Throw a like under if you enjoyed it and subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.